YouTube. So I just finished up today with my surgeon's consultation and good news, um, I have a tentative date set for July 13th for my surgery. Um, so I've done all this research on it and of course I am going with the, the uh, gastric sleeve. I am self-pay. Um, out of pocket, it will cost me roughly around $14,000, um, but for me, it's worth it because that's money I'm putting, investing into my health for the long run, and I want to live a long, healthy life, and I think that that is the best thing for me. Like I said in my first video, excuse me. I have struggled um, for a long time with my weight and um, it's just starting to affect me um, by, you know, with my activities. I like to, you know, get out and I like to ride bicycles and kayak and go hiking and um, a lot of that is being compromised with the weight because it's starting to ha be, um, have effect on my knees and my hips and my back. So I'm going to do this surgery and so, all right, so this is what happened. Um, I spoke with the doctor and of course my loving boyfriend, he went with me and had all these questions and how he could take care of me afterwards and super sweet. So um, he's very, very sweet. So anyway, um, we talked about, you know, how safe it is and, you know, what he does. Um, for his surgeries and, and, you know, so everything seemed really good. Um, and um, I'm excited to be able to have it and then be able to drop the weight. Now, for most of you, insurance makes you, you know, have this long waiting period, um, go see, you know, the surgeon, you know, multiple times, see the nutritionist multiple times, and um, see a, you know, have a psyche valve. I don't have to do that. I well, I do have to go see a nutritionist, and I only have to see her once. I don't have to have a psyche eval. I do have to go to my primary care and get my um, I have to get you know my cardiac clearance, my medical clearance, um, but that's labs, um, EKG, and a chest X-ray. So I you know I all that can be done through insurance. I don't have to. Um, worry about that as um, self-pay. Nutritionists will be covered under under insurance, but um, the surgery itself, the office visits to the surgeon, um, the surgery itself, and then um, the follow-up for up to a year is all covered under what I'm paying out of pocket. Um, so um, I do have my primary appointment already set up for June the first part of June and then the nutritionist will get back to me after they get the referral from the doctor's office and I should be able to set that up for May and then um, the surgeon's office will get back to me um, on that date on whether or not that is the um, for sure date the absolute for sure date and then af before that in the end of June I'll go and meet um, with them for my pre-op and go and meet the anesthesiologist and the nurses and um, visit the hospital and all that fun, fun, fun stuff. Um, so, so the only thing is, is super excited, but I'm a little scared on the, on, even though it's laparoscopic, there still are those risks. Um, the risks of you know, not being under insurance, if I have any complications, you know, what's that going to cost me? Um, I know I can go to, you know, the doctor or the, the, the ER that is covered, you know. Basically what's happening is I already work for a, um, a hospital and I'm going to a different hospital to have this procedure done. So my insurance is not covered under this other hospital. So if I go to my hospital, if I have complications, my insurance will pay for the complications. But if I have to go back to the other hospital, my insurance will not pay for those complications. So there's a predicament there of like, which hospital do I go to? 
Um, <clears throat> hopefully I won't have any complications. And so <clears throat> that's the thing. <clears throat> He is very um, specific that he has not had any um, of his patients um, have any leaking, um, no bleeds. And um, so he was very, very, very with it, very um, approachable. His bedside manner is very good. Um, so I love that guy. <laughs> um, so for those who are in, the, in Georgia, um, my surgery will be performed by um, Dr. Daly at North Atlanta uh, Surgical Associates. Um, then the it won't be outpatient. It will be one stay one night over in the hospital at Northside Hospital in Atlanta. So for anybody that you know wants to Google him and find out you know anything about him, so he's um, he's a pretty cool guy. So. <clears throat> So I'm super excited. I um, love the fact that, you know, all the ladies on here that have either going to have surgery or getting surgery, they're very supportive um, in, you know, supporting each other and me for that matter, um, giving us words of encouragement. I try to give words of encouragement to others. Um, as a nurse, I know um, some of the things that to expect after laparoscopic surgery, um, uh, but still again, you know, I'm on the other end of that, you know, I'm the person giving the medications to the people that are in pain. And of course, pain is subjective. We don't know what the, another person is feeling and how they're feeling and, and what their pain threshold is. So for me on this end, you know, I've had two kids, it's not the same. So <laughs> hopefully I'm not like a mean, mean patient. So anyway, <laughs> um, I won't be, uh, cross my fingers, hope to die. But, um, no, just kidding. Um, but hopefully everything will go well. I'll keep you updated about news, info. You know, if I just feel like getting on here and telling you how I feel, hopefully, you know, everything like that will be okay. Um, you know, no judgment, no criticism. Um, I have only told my sister. Of course, my boyfriend knows because we live together. Um, I've only told my sister and her husband. And um, there are three three people at work that know. Um, so nobody else really knows. Um, I haven't told anybody else in my family. I haven't told any of my friends. And, um, you know, if they come and watch YouTube, that's great. They can come and watch YouTube and that's how they can find out. Um, but usually they're not going to. So until I'm ready to tell them, then this is my outlet. And um, you guys are my listeners. So I will talk to you later. And if you have any questions about the, you know, the rest of the process that um, I had to go through today, it wasn't much. So um, when you're self-pay, you don't have to jump through hoops. So um, just ask um, and I'll be glad to answer those questions. Um, until next time, I'll talk to you later.